Chief Justice Mokhweng Mokhweng has called on all South Africans to contribute to ending injustice in the country. He delivered the keynote address at the 17th Nelson Mandela Annual Lecture today. This year's theme is constitutionalism as an instrument for transformation. Anybody with a functional conscience must seek to identify his or her responsibilities as contained in our constitution. If you are indifferent because you occupy a position that pays you well, if you are indifferent to the plight of the people in Deep Sluot and elsewhere in the country because you are comfortable you live in a suburb, know that you are a traitor. And you are a traitor of our constitution, you are a traitor of Nelson Mandela, you are a traitor of any other person who suffered for us to get to where we are. This is so because the constitution places a responsibility on each and every one of us regardless of age, to contribute towards ending the injustices of our past. Sometimes I wonder, are, are they of our past? And sometimes I lament why we don't have colonialism and apartheid in our constitution. Because they would have served as a constant reminder of exactly what it is we mean when we say there is a need to give practical expression to the injustices of our past. The Chief Justice says very little will be accomplished as long as people are ignorant of their constitutional rights. The Constitution is an instrument for building. Building a society within which none would have arisen to be ashamed of his or her state of affairs. So if you want to know what kind of South Africa, Africa and the global village, we the people of South Africa desire and plan to have, examine our constitution. But let me say at this early stage, very little is going to be accomplished for as long as we allow our people to be ignorant of their rights in the Constitution. You can't fight for what you don't know. You can't fight for what you don't touch. It's almost as if we seek to take advantage of the ignorance of our people by not doing anything. The greatest facilitator of sustained injustice is keeping people ignorant of what they are entitled to. Justice Mukhweng has encouraged South Africans to seek to understand and learn more about other cultures, languages and religions. Mariba went on to say on that occasion of signing our constitution into law, open quotes, let us nurture our national unity by recognizing with respect and joy the languages, cultures and religions of South Africa in all their diversity. We need unity now more than ever before. It has got to be something that each and every one of us worries about on a daily basis. And the simplest way to start is to seek to understand or to know more about another. As a South African, you've got to want to know other languages. We can't just be learning English. We've got to know Chivenda, Isikosa, if. If you are committed to building the unity that we so desperately need and without which we will be as stagnant as we have been or relatively stagnant as we have been for the past 25 years. Know the languages, know the cultures. Seek to understand the situation of your fellow South Africans. Well, struggle stalwart Mampela Rampele also attended that lecture. She says South Africans have forgotten the value of the Constitution. We the people say in the preamble of that Constitution, we will 
heal the wounds of divisions of the past by establishing social justice, respect for human rights, and respect for human dignity. We, and if we want it done, we need to make sure our government at the local level, at the provincial level, at the national level does that. Our parliament should do that. The private sector should also do that. The, the labor unions are not educating their, lead, their members to be informed citizens. So it's all of us who are responsible.